Hey YouTube, welcome back. We have here the Janome Arctic Crystal 311LE and in this video I'm going to show you how to wind a new bobbin and how to install the bobbin. So let me come around to that side and we'll get started. First you're going to need some thread and one of the clear bobbins that came with it. Now this machine does have, it has two, so we're going to use the front one. Um, it does have the vertical spool pin, so you really need to use a stacked thread. If you saw my overview, I went over the difference between stacked and crosswound, and I showed you how you could adapt to use a crosswound for this. But we're going to use the stacked thread. Just put that on your spool pin there. And this is a really simple way to uh, load this one. You see this metal spindle right here? Now it does have a, like a, the outer rim lifts up. So what you want to do is bring your thread around and loop it there. Now you need to sandwich it in there. So put your finger like right here to give it some pressure and then pull it, sandwich it under there. like floss it in between. Make sure it goes in between this disc and this little metal thing that lifts up. Correctly loaded, your thread will be sandwiched in between this. Now, take your bobbin, the clear bobbin. There's a tiny hole through the rim right there. It's on, it, there's a hole on both sides so it doesn't matter. Now you're going to feed the thread through the hole and come back out the top. And then pull it up. Now we're going to move over here to the bobbin spindle. You're just going to snap that right down on top of there. Now draw up any slack that you have in the thread. Not tight, you just don't want it looping around everywhere. And you might want to wrap it around your finger a couple of times. We're going to hold this tight for just a little bit. You're going to move this to the right. See what I did? It'll snap. All right. That engages the bobbin. Now once we have that done, we're ready to wind. So you're going to press on your pedal, hold your thread up and out of the way, turn the machine on, and press. After it makes a few rounds, you can snip that thread off. It's fine, and then you can just keep going. If you just have a small project, you don't have to fill the bobbin all the way up. You can stop at any point and cut your thread, but um, let me show you what happens when you do get to the full point. Now, you see how the bobbin is just not turning anymore? That means this bobbin is full. So you're going to press it back to the left, pull your bobbin up, and then we can cut the thread. Just like that. Now let's look at how to install this bobbin. Okay, the first thing we have to do is take off the accessory tray. And then we're going to flip open the bobbin compartment. And there it is. Some machines have a drop-in bobbin. This is a front load bobbin. So let's remove the bobbin casing first. You're going to lift this right here. Now holding it open because that's what releases it. When this is down, it's like locked in there. So you are unlocking, and then you can pull it out. And this is where your bobbin is going to go. 
Okay, so first, how to put the bobbin in your bobbin casing. Now you want the bobbin thread coming over the top, okay? And you're just going to drop it in the case just like that. This little slit that's right there, the thread has to go in there. So you're going to come back around and you're going to try to get the thread caught right in there. And usually it just slips right on in there. Then you're going to come down, pull it to the back so that now, let's see, yeah. you have to pull it to the left. You want your thread to be right here in this center. Okay, it has to go over this little hook thing, or under it rather, so that it is coming out right in the center. Okay? Now, if you ever need to adjust your bobbin, this screw is gonna be what you adjust, and you will adjust it minutely, just a little turn here or there. Now, when you're dealing with this type of bobbin, tension can be an issue. So to check it, I was always taught, you just, you hold it like this and let it dangle, and the bobbin should like creepy crawl down. Since this one does not, I'm assuming the tension is a little bit too tight. So, and you can try it in your machine first, and I may wind up tightening this back up. But for now, if you need to loosen your tension, you're just going to take a small flathead screwdriver and right there in that little screw, you're going to turn it to the left just a little bit at the time and then recheck. Still no drop. So come back, give it another quarter turn. Okay, it's still just a tad bit tight. So let me give it not even a quarter of a turn. I'm gonna say just a half of a quarter, which is an eighth. Now, and that's coming out just a little bit too fast for my liking, so back to the right just a little. Now that's perfect. Okay, now to put this in the machine. To put it in the machine, you're going to have to lift this lip out again now. Just like you lifted it to get it out, you have to lift it back to put it in. And so you're pinching that. Now, this right here is called the horn. The horn is going to fit in this little slot right there. So make sure this post right here goes in the center hole and then twist it around so that the horn fits right in there and let go. And then check it to be sure that it's in there securely, and it is, okay? So once you've done that, you're ready to just shut the door and the thread will hang out. When we pull the thread up in just a minute, the thread will come out of there and come up under the, the thread plate, okay? So that is a completely wound and installed bobbin. If you'd like to know how to load the top thread, check the links down below and I'll have a link to the next video. Thank you so much for watching.